What? Welcome back from spring break. Missed you all. Um, hopefully you all doing well at home and um, you know, staying safe and all that good stuff. So I want to create this video to go over some of the basics of distance learning. So let me go ahead and open up this PowerPoint and go over some of the basics of distance learning. All right, so welcome back from spring break. We haven't seen each other in a month. We haven't been in the classroom together in a month now. We probably haven't seen much of anyone for the last month. Uh, so let me just do a quick recap of the last four weeks. That first week, the week of March 16th to the 20th, uh, that was when it was first announced by the district that you know all schools are, are being closed physically and then we're gonna roll out this sort of distance learning plan. After that, the March 23rd to 27th, we were kind of still figuring out this stay at home order, hopefully, you know, getting stocking up on supplies, uh, probably not changing from our PJs very much. And then the week after that, March 30th to April 3rd, was when the school, Lenhurst High, sent out uh, information on how you can pick up Chromebooks. So Chromebook distribution happened that week if you need a computer or device. Um, and if you don't have a device, you can still access or contact the office to get a Chromebook. I'll go over that towards the end of the video. And then last week was spring break, April 6th to April 10th, kind of regular scheduled spring break. But for all practical purposes, the last four weeks kind of been an extended spring break. We did expect students to try to work on past missing work, um, sort of catch up on those missing assignments and allow you some time to pick up a Chromebook if you needed that. Yesterday, April 13th, marked the start of our distance learning. We expect students to be engaged. So again, the last four weeks is kind of was like, you probably heard from teachers um, communicating some information, but it's really trying to transition from that sort of physical in-classroom experience to now being distance learning. So what does engage mean now that we've started distance learning kind of officially? Uh, engage for distance learning means you're checking Google Classroom and email daily, that you're completing any work posted by your teachers, and you're contacting your teacher if you're confused or have questions or kind of just lost in general and need some direction. Um, now we realize school is more than just academics, so the school district has continued to uh, deliver meals. So if you haven't received these um, communications from the district, it is on the website a schedule of where you can pick up meals on a kind of daily basis, almost daily basis. So the Marysville Joint Unified School District website has this calendar, but here it is for you. Um, so the district is given out um, two lunches and two breakfasts every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and to drive up for sort of mobile um, delivery service. So you just kind of drive up in a car, and they would have all the sort of package ready to go. You can pick it up at a school. Now, Lenhurst High is not one of the pickup sites, but Johnson Park Elementary is. And then you can see these other sort of intermediate ele elementary schools that are pickup sites and the time that you can go to pick up these lunches and breakfasts. And there's also non-school locations, just in case um, you don't live near one of the school sites or one of these other non-school locations it's closer for you. And again, each one has a pickup time. So um, do check out the district website for that. They also have this calendar and information available in Spanish. Also on the Marysville Joint Unified School District website, there's a continuity of learning plan. Uh, so they have a frequently asked questions. So this is kind of a shorter document, still like two or three pages. And continuity just means continuation. So how is sort of school can continue, but now in a sort of like distance learning mode. And it ranges from questions about if you have like an individualized educational plan or you receive some sort of services or counseling, um, you know, has sort of these answers to these frequently asked questions or FAQs. So I'd encourage you to check out that document if you're not sure about something or have a very specific question. Um, that's one way to get the information. And this is just a screenshot of some of those questions. And then the other main resource other than the district website that you should be using is Google Classroom. So all your teachers should have a Google Classroom set up. And that's going to be the main way for your teachers to kind of communicate with you. Now, Google Classroom, you notice that it has a, um, 
a, a stream section and the stream section is you know where videos usually get posted um, and uh, any other sort of things that teachers want you to sort of look at. But then there's also a classwork section and the classwork is going to be where your teacher maybe post a question for you to type in a response or just has some instructions on what that specific assignment is. And your teacher can also um, give you feedback through Google Classroom on the sort of classwork tab. So do check out Google Classroom. And again, there's just different tabs at the top in terms of the stream kind of videos and other announcements, and then the classwork, which would be more specific, either instructions or actual assignments that are posted. Um, for my classroom, for our classroom, uh, whether it be general science or live in earth, I have past worksheets on the stream portion of the website. So if you do need an electronic version of any of previous work or homework assignments, I do have them here. And then um, I'm posting new classwork now that we're starting distance learning in the classwork tab. Uh, hopefully that sort of all makes sense and you kind of understand Google Classroom. Now, submit a work. Kind of two main ways to submit work. One is email on it. So whether it be a picture you take from your phone or a screenshot you take, or maybe it's just a saved Word document, or maybe you have a scanner at home and you scan some work, um, you can email it to any of your teachers. So you can do that through Aries or just do it through Gmail um, as email on it. Another way is to share it. So if your teacher does post a doc um, on Google Classroom, you make a copy of it, you type in your answers, and then you just share it with your teacher in the upper right-hand side. There's a share button, and you just type in the teacher's email address, and then they have access to it, and they can comment on the document electronically. Um, the other ways you can do it here at the bottom, I have directly on Google Classroom. So in that Classwork section of Google Classroom, they, there may be a question, and the, you can type in a response to that question in a sort of box right there on Google Classroom. Your teacher has access to that and grade it and give you feedback. Uh, here's just a little more details on submitting the work. So if there is a document posted by the teacher, like a Google Doc, you can open it in Google Docs, but you want to make a copy of it. So you have it in your drive and then you can type it in your specific answers, put your name on it, and then you would either just share it or email it to your teacher. Uh, if you are doing work by hand, maybe a class asks you to, you know, make a picture or some sort of poster or some sort of like, you, you make something that's like materials, then you could take a, a picture using your phone. Or if you have a Chromebook you picked up from the school, you can use the webcam, which you would just go and your sort of um, uh, start button and then there's a, a camera. And so you can take pictures with your webcam. And then the other ways you can do this is um, screenshots. And so there's different instructions on how to do screenshots on YouTube. Um, and you can also use your phone. If you're using your phone, once you take a picture or something, you can click on the picture and either email it, or you can even you know, set up a text message to an email address. It doesn't have to be a phone number. You can text to an email address. Or when you click on the picture, sometimes it'll have upload to Google Drive, and that'll save the document in Google Drive, and you can share it with your teacher. All right, hopefully that made sense. Again, any questions, you just let me know. Um, resources. So again, uh, school is more than just academics and we realize that students, you know, uh, get food from school and other services that are so important for your development and health. So the school, Lynnhurst High, the main office is open Mondays through Thursdays from 8 a.m. to noon. So that would be um, available by phone call. Now, if you did need to go in person, uh, again, call first to sort of set that up if you need a Chromebook or you just have any other questions, maybe you're having issues with getting a Wi-Fi or something like that, they can give you some um, information about that. Uh, also counseling, our counselors are still working. So our counselors will be available either via phone or text or email or video conferencing. Um, so I would just say email your counselor. If you're not sure your counselor is, a teacher can look it up for you and get you that email address real easily. Um, and then if you need access to something like 24-7, um, are, these are stressful times and a lot is being asked of you from your family and a school and probably you know, other sources. So if you do need help, um, Southern Yuba Behavioral Health Access Center is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you would just call this phone number listed here, 888-923-3800. Um, if you do need any sort of like other counseling from a mental health professional. Um, so 
these are all sort of resources you can do. You're not in this alone. Um, kind of just a quick recap is we do expect students now to be engaged, which means checking email and Google Classroom on a daily basis and submit a work. Now we do understand that a lot is being asked of you in these sort of extenuating, really unique times we're in right now. So we are totally understanding and supportive um, and, and realize that your family, your health is the sort of priority. And that if you're sort of a little bit behind on work or you miss an assignment or need extension, you just communicate with teachers and, and uh, you know, we're understanding empathetic people and we understand that, again, these are sort of unique times. So don't feel like pressure, you have to get the work in every day and you missed a day, oh my God, uh, what's gonna happen? Just communicate with your teacher, uh, be open and we're totally understanding our job is to support you and you know, help you, um, you know, complete the work. Now you may say, hey, why even do the work? Well, this is a great way for you guys to bring up your grade. And um, obviously you'll be taking math, next level math, or maybe a lot of you taking chemistry next year, or just you don't wanna develop bad habits. So whatever it is, we wanna make sure you're ready for, for next year and that you can get credits this semester by keeping up on the work. Really all the work you can be doing is just gonna improve your grade. So even if you're like, why do it? I already have an F, well that's, the best incentive to do it because you can bring that up, up pretty easily um, by submitting work right now over the next uh, month and a half or so. So uh, any questions, definitely email me or uh, you know send a message through Aries. And it is spring, so hopefully you're getting out there in, in nature, maybe spending some quality time with your fam. Here's me and my daughter. Uh, we go out on sort of daily walks together and been seeing some goslings, some baby geese, some turtles and stuff. So stay, stay healthy, stay, stay safe. Any questions, let us know. We're here for you. Uh, again, miss you guys, and hopefully you and your family are holding up okay. All right, uh, thank you so much. Take care, everyone.